Aries, how you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading from the 5th of September going through to the 11th of September. Um, uh, yeah, I've, uh, let me start again. Aries, how's it going? Uh, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is a reading from the 5th of September going through to the 11th of September. Uh, yeah, it's a weekly. If you haven't seen your monthly readings and the collective monthly readings, I would suggest you go and have a look at it because it's affecting all the readings this week as well, uh, like it was last week. It's going to be very interesting times ahead of us. Uh, let's just see what's going on straight away uh, with your energies within your reading. Most people are having this snowplow effect. You've got a very... There's a really big connection between your guides here and your everyday life. You may feel like you, you you've got a you know you've got a lucky star shining down on you at the moment. Back into this section here, which is the karmic message, the karmic path. That's the stuff building through the system. There is that wave of that September collective reading which is coming through, uh, and as your guides are in line with your here and now, in a way, um, you're gonna. You're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be in connection uh, with what is coming down the line. You're gonna feel it very quickly, uh, or you're gonna observe it very quickly around you uh, this in this week. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into the overall energy. This is the relationship side. This is the money side with your job, your business. Uh, relationship side could be with family, friends. We'll see how the uh, reading comes out. It could be with couples as well. Well, let's just see which is the most important for you at the moment. Now uh, let's just get over with the general energy. Sometimes the road of life is really thin, very tight. It's like walking through the valley of death in a way. Uh, but as you going down that ravine in this river of life, uh, sometimes there is a solid rock that does not move. And you seem to be that rock. <laughs> so you're helping a lot of people around you because you're positioning. That's what it seems to be. Look at that. You couldn't get any better, really. Look, she's sitting on that throne, sort of rock throne, uh, and there's all that water around her by the looks of things. It could well be mountains or sky uh, clouds, but it's it's basically depicting what I said. You're sitting calm, you've got the wind at your back, and you're just kind of going, yeah, I got this. And you're resisting. You're resisting. You're the like the new norm. Uh, Aries, let's just see what's going on uh, on your karmic path. So be that rock, be that consistency. Coming back to that, I, mean, I don't know if you've been watching these readings. I talked to you about a moment about last month when I was sort of saying, you know, be that pillar of your family or your society or your couple. And then a couple of weeks later, it's now you've got to learn to put it into action. You're getting back to being that pillar again. Um, and uh, yeah, putting in place where you, you're going to, within your relationships, you're going to feel that love of the fact that you are reliable. Yeah, that you are that healthy boundary. How you uh, impose yourself for your life, and yeah, not on other people's life, for your life, will help people kind of turn around and kind of go, look at Aries, man, they, 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 they're sorting it. They know what they're doing. They're, they've, they've positioned themselves. Uh, that seems to be lovely. So, you know, those healthy boundaries are applicable uh, for other people as much as for oneself. And you have this position where you can resist against, uh, against the flow. See how the universe is trying to help you uh, or guide that sort of karmic message. <laughs> the universe is almost like sort of says try to resist this it's almost as if they're like the universe is sort of like you know sending you a a, a, um, a defi uh they're defying you sort of kind of that's what it is in french um you know giving you uh giving you a test in a way i think or, uh, yeah, not an ultimatum, but, you know, putting you up to a, some sort of test. Oh, bloody. 
I say blimey because all fire signs, Leah had it in exactly the same position. Uh, uh, Sagittarius had it over here, I think. Oh, no, it was over here. Uh, yeah, so you fire signs, this is you, basically. Uh, you have uh, the universe is sort of saying, there's loads of things that's coming down the line, down the universe, and you've got to be you. Be you. Be that rock. Be that consistency. It is important. You may feel like you're getting submerged occasionally by life, but you've just got to let it through and stick to, you, stick to your position. I think it's really important for your friends, your family, your community, your couple. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean command everybody. That's not what I mean. I mean you have to be you. Don't get pulled from pillars of post. Okay, so let's have a look, see what's going on. And I think that's pulled to pillar by post by the outside world rather than the immediate people that are around you. Let's just see how um, what's going on with your guides here, how they're trying to influence it. They're trying to use your you, what you do and how you do it as a way to help other people around you without them coming in and sort of saying, oh, uh, look, Aries, I was thinking this and thinking that. They just look at you and kind of go, oh, I know what I should do now. That's because your guides are doing a lot of outward work. And they're really helping you out to help you to free up, basically. Look at that. How powerful is all of this? We've got the Queen of Swords, the, the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, all about going on the journey of life. And so it helped, they're helping you to, to concentrate on the here and now and getting passionate about the relationships that are around you in that moment. So you might have a friend that you play uh, one sport with, that you have, might have another friend that you like to go to uh, concerts with. Um, and, you know, but being at that concert and really being there and then also being at that activity or that sporting activity and being there in that moment will be brilliant for you, but also brilliant for the people that are around you. It'd be absolutely amazing. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence that sort of inner conversation, those feelings within our body, our subconscious. They're helping you to feel, feel the essence of you. Like that child, that inner child that comes out and plays. So you may be, you know, did you ever used to play marbles on a, uh, like their little balls of glass? I don't know what you call them in America. I think maybe it's beads. But you'd have a drain top. This is what we used to play. And then you should flick the drain and flick the bead. And you've got to try and hit the other one. But because the drain was all like that, if you try and shoot it across, it would just go bing and bounce out of the way. So you've got to try and position yourself so you can actually get a clear shot. So, but that was a kid's game. That's what we used to play in school. You know, we didn't have telephones, <laughs> you know, believe it or not. You wouldn't believe it looking at my age. But it's allowing that kid to come out and play and reminding yourself that often it's the simple things that give us the most amount of joy. Don't complicate it. Don't overthink it. Keep, that's what the healthy barriers are all about. And here... Your guides may not actually be, you know, they're, they're, they may just keep it very simple. Go and do that. If you turn around and say why, they'll just say, do that. They're trying to keep it straightforward. You know, there's no actual real choices in life. It's just an evident path to follow. And that's what the seven cups is all about. Because there's one cup given out of water. All the rest of it is very complicated stuff. Yeah? And you should be just following that that. As I said, that ravine of water coming through. That's why it's trying to sort of say, that's where you're going. You've got to go down that ravine of water at some point. You're going to be able to resist life, but not eternally. But at the moment, it's a case of you being that one cup in that ravine, giving out lots of love and happiness that is around you. Being that kid, enjoying life in the most simplest of forms. Okay, let's just see, um, it will connect you with your family, your couple, with your friends, everything like that. Let's just see what's going on in your money side of life. This is the karmic message here. This is where you can be decisive. This is where you can be, it's like this and it's not any other way. 
So it's asking you to be decisive within your job and uh, or in your business or in your projects to um, not budge, have those healthy boundaries, but not more than healthy. It's almost have those boundaries. Forget about healthy here. Have those boundaries within your job. Yeah, four of wands. A four of swords, sorry. So uh, it's about healing, um, apparently, the four of swords and about recuperation and stuff like that, getting good night's sleep and stuff like that. It's defining, if you define things, it's like this and it's, you know, this is how we do it. We're not going to discuss about it. If you're running a business and you say, look, this is how we serve our coffee. If you want to serve it in another way, go and open up a coffee shop. But this is how we do it here. So then you don't have to worry about all of that. And that's going to give you that sensation of kind of going, ah, things are working. It's going to help you out. So don't get caught up emotionally within your job, your business. I think this is it more than anything else. Just be very cool, calm, collective and decisive. Let's see how the universe is trying to sort of influence your sort of karmic message. It's like taking a step back to have a leap forward. And the universe is sort of saying that. That's what that card is there for. Take a step out of it. Take your emotions out of it. Observe the situation. And then you can leap forward. And join in. And make sure it's joining with fun. I think it's a case of, if you've been working really hard, Aries, because you tend to work hard, you're just like that. Uh, you know, it's that quadrant of the scale. Uh, Pisces, uh, Aries, and Taurus, they tend to be grafters, basically. They tend to work very hard. Um, and um, it is enjoyment of working with other people. So it's not just your own success you're concerned with, it's the success of other people. So if you're in a job, it's concerned with the success of the company. Because if the company does well, in theory, you should be doing well. If you're not doing that, if that company is not doing that for you, then I would have a serious word with them. But, um, you know, it should work well for all of you. But it's taking out your emotions will free you up, will give that sensation of healing of it. And then the universe is sort of saying, and now you can apply yourself. So maybe this is what's been coming through after the healing is now being that decisive and applying yourself in a very communicative aspect of it all. Let's see how the guides are trying to influence this converse, uh, this uh, karmic path. They're inverting things. So uh, uh, it may be a case here of sort of saying... Um, what was before needs to be done in a different way or not, not needs to be done in a different way. Uh, your client's desires may have changed over the last last summer. Um, it just seems to be inverting. It's like flicking over dominoes in a way. Ah, maybe that's... Knock them down. Okay, so yeah, start that domino effect. Maybe it's a case of if you get into it and get into your clients and really get into uh, the community factor that you can get within a business, and this could be with your clients as much with your suppliers and with the people that work around you, uh, your, your guides here is sort of saying, if you do that, all of a sudden you're going you're gonna to knock the dominoes down. You're going to free yourself up by the looks of things. Ideas, with fresh ideas coming out. Uh, for you it's very decisive in this side uh, the back of the queen of uh, swords you've already got two swords in there um, and yeah so it's it's it converting ideas this is what the knocking I think this is what the converting things about okay I'm starting to realize now so once you start knocking them down it's com these are your ideas that are going to start knocking down those dominoes and that's how you can convert an idea of doing uh, a business away or a business in a particular way or project in a particular way or, uh, or uh, advancing your career path or advancing the job or the business that you're working for, having an idea and converting it into understanding or converting it into sales or converting it into concrete action, basically, and traveling from one side of that ravine to another. 
and almost floating above that ravine which we were talking about within your relationships. Here is allowing your ideas to come through. And I think maybe the your guides are really feeding you with a lot of ideas here. Let's just see how the um, they're trying to influence that subconscious conversation. Come back to this a little bit. Once you start knocking down those dominoes, so once you start sort of uh, applying yourself in your job or trying out new things or pushing a, a particular way of doing a business and stuff like that or a particular way of doing a job, um, you're going to get results and you're almost going to be sort of kind of going, it's, it's, this is how we do it. This is, how, it's judgment. <laughs> It's going to make you feel at ease. So that comes from the Four of Swords. And this, I think this is this healing process of allowing your community side of business to come into play, getting involved with everybody within your business, be it client, supplier, or even people you work with, liberating fresh ideas within yourself. And that will bring you to a point where you can kind of say, and now we do this. And now I feel at ease doing it like this. This business, this project, this job. Beautiful, really. It's all the sort of things you don't have a lot of, which is a bit of air. And you could actually find that air within your business or, you know, within the money side of life. Let's just see how it all sort of comes and dovetails out together. <laughs> it's almost kind of going, da da. It's, it's, there's a real arrival, I think. With the outside world changing so much, you're almost going to kind of go, and that's how you do it. You know, it's like, da da. Hierophant. I want to shout and scream. That is totally, da da. Uh, hierophant. So, Hierophant is uh, basically a teacher, is explaining you uh, about how things happen or how you can get to your happiness because they've gone through the three stages of uh, uh, spirit, mental and energy, as it were, uh, or, you know, physical uh, spirit and uh, energy. Um, so they've, they've, they've understood how to get to the good result, the star. And you're going to have that da -da moment with everything that is around you, not only within your relationships, but within your work side as well. And the whole harmony of it is, is that queen of swords who is that clear vision of kind of going, we're going here. Which you are fantastic at, Aries. You really are. I know I've got quite a lot of Aries around me and I know what they're like and I know when they are, when they're beautiful to see when they're like, and this is it. And it, it, it's brilliant. I love it when you're like that, Aries. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, there you go, Aries. Um, I will be getting some more readings out. I think I'm going to do a midweek, mid-month reading uh, coming up next week as well. Uh, see how it's going on in September time. Uh, there is loads of links in the description below. There is also the Aries Astro Flower book you can get. There's also links to our uh, sister channel, Cymatic TV, which is all about energy. And we have links to our Instagram page as well. In the meantime, uh, Aries, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.